start the Muay Thai action with five one and a half minute rounds of N class Thai boxing rules in the 59 kilogram division. Introducing first fighting out of the white corner, representing KO South Coast, it's Tommy Holmes. Holly home and his opponent this evening facing him across the ring in the black corner he fights out of the legacy gym please welcome Jacob Water Jacob Water. Ladies and gentlemen, this is CFS 17, where we have five one and a half minute rounds of in class Muay Thai rules in the 59 kilogram division. Your referee in charge, Mr. Tim Isley. Jacob Waters of the uh, Legacy Gym just sealing off the ring now in uh, true Muay Thai fashion. These guys will be fighting under novice class Muay Thai rules in the 59 kilogram division. Uh, five one and a half minute rounds about to commence. And Larry Tommy Holmes representing the KO South Coast. KO gyms spreading everywhere from Bethnal Green. Bill Judd's legacy. They have produced some fantastic warriors over the years. The Dave Paquettes, the Greg Wootens, the KO badge is historic. And here's the Legacy Gym representing here on the uh, CFS stage, the Combat Fight Series ring. Frantic clinch early on. A little bit of composure needed from both guys early. Trying to get a control of the head there. Tommy Holmes. Clean left kick on the back foot. Catches, holds on him for a while but dumps him. Nice knee on the inside from Walters. Home strong in his structure. Into clinch, wants to fire off knees here, but takes a good position, Walters, and moves him onto the ropes. Fair exchange with the uh, Point of the knee into the body though. And again. Yeah. 
Dumps him down to the canvas. Confidence booster for Holmes. Walters picks himself up. Well competed first round. That's the first of five. Pau Portillo Round and two. Mo Abdurrahman. Straight to clinch. Just looking for position, both fighters here. Nice knee on the inside there, Walters. And now fires into Walters' ribs. On that opposite side. Again, a little bit sharper there. Step over, right hand. Enters again, and it's Holmes again who finds space for that knee. And all these knees are points in the bag. They're like pennies in the piggy bank in Muay Thai. And takes a good position. Around the back of Walters. Good push kick up to the face as well. Holmes is up in his product as this fight goes on. Now he's starting to enjoy it. He's got a smile where you see his gum shield. Walters is composed though. Smiling at each other at the end of the round. Round three. Well, this is round three. Third of five, one and a half minute rounds. Good hand speed there, combination work from Holmes. Again, laughing as the action goes, but that winds Holmes up, who lands two or three good punches. And a good right hand on the end of it as well. Boxing well, but needs to kick just as Holmes is there. Holmes holds the ropes to kick and gets a small telling off from referee Tim Isley. Nice control there from Holmes, good balance, no panic. Kicks Walters as well. Wants the body at the moment, Walters lands on the leg. Nice responded. Nice and calm from Walters. Showing nice technique in there. Nice kicks on the back foot. And that's a really good left knee landed from Holmes there though. Seems to be the better executioner of the knee when they go to clinch. 
driving the point of his knee into the abdomen. Really short rounds, these one and a half minute rounds. Round four. Well, they're brought together for round four here. The money round. And this is where Walters needs to really turn it up. Really get going now. If he wants to take these rounds, he needs this one and the next one definitely for me. It's the right way to go about it. Driving those hands, pushing his opponent back. Good knee scored from Walters in there. But finds himself pushed into that corner. tight and find it hard to execute the knee. Good position taken from Holmes. Trying to off balance him all the time. Walter starts to go to work with the hands. Good low kick as well. Catches the kick and responds. Smiling Holmes because he knows he's doing better now. That right. Hand lands again that he shakes off. Got all points in the bag though, and the judges are watching. To everyone watching us back home on the Leapfrog Fight TV. So many shows on your monthly subscription at the moment. I just hope you're locked in with us here, Combat Fight Series on the South Coast. And stay with us, because the best is definitely yet to come. Lovely knee there from Holmes. Well competed round that one though. Three cornermen firing him up here. Gonna need a massive round from him here. Oh, it's been nice and gentlemen, about this for fight. the fifth and final yeah. round. For Holmes, and as you just heard, fifth and final round here. Walters boxing well at the beginning of it. Nice left hand landed in there as well. Oh, that right hand landed as well. And again, goes down to the body to try and open him up. This is good from Walters. Trying to box back his homes here though, and he lands that knee. Just has more weapons for me. And that knee lands again. Walters throwing big right hand punches this round. For me, I think he's got to stick Holmes on the canvas, but like I say, three judges oh, watching this fight. Nice skills all the time from Holmes using his weapons, but missing on a few occasions now. Not as accurate as he was early in the fight. Dumps his opponent down to the floor. But there's that right hand over the top again. They don't seem to really trouble Holmes. He seems to wear the punches well. 
but he's landing freely. He doesn't just want to offer his chin up like this, I tell you. Especially this late in a fight that he's had a pretty good control of for large parts of. Judges scorecards yet again. Ladies and gentlemen, after five terrific rounds of tie boxing action, we go to the ringside judges where they have reached the unanimous decision. Let's hear it for your winner in the white corner, Tom Holmes. And your terrific runner-up, Jacob Waters. Tommy Holmes takes a good win there. In control for large periods, but it's a good response for me, Walters, coming back and boxing at the end there. Holmes wore quite a few on the chin as well. Just didn't get his hit through him enough to put his opponent to the canvas. That's all you can ask of these fighters, and they'll, uh, both corners will be proud of their Warriors 100%.